Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to run Stable Diffusion from your own computer. Running Stable Diffusion on your computer allows you to run custom models and create consistent images. This tutorial will work on MacBooks with M1 or M2 chips. Let me know in the comments below if you want a video for Windows. The installation takes around 20 minutes and you don't need to be tech savvy to follow the steps. I will be guiding you through each step of the process. It's pretty straightforward. And afterwards, you will be able to try any prompt on your stable diffusion model. You can use any stable diffusion model, such as version 1.5 or 2, or you can even use your own model. Currently, I'm using my own model that was trained on my character. And as you can see, every photo features the same character. I will be making a part two for this video where I'll show you how to train and download your own model. After you install Stable Diffusion on your computer, you'll be able to put any prompt and then test out your model. Not to mention that this method is completely free. You can run it as many times as you want and you can put as many prompts as you like because it's running from your computer. The only thing is that it is a heavy program and it's gonna take CPU processing power and storage. So, for example, for me, it takes around 100 gigabytes of storage while I'm running it. Let's start the installation. I will share the guide link in the comments below. In the first step, we will go to Terminal App and install Homebrew. If you already have Homebrew, you can skip the step. So, let's go to Terminal. To find the terminal, you can go to Search and just type Terminal. All you need to do here is copy the line of code and paste it into the terminal. You might be required to enter your computer password and then click Enter. Click Enter to run it. This installs Homebrew. Homebrew allows to install many other applications and programs through terminal. The installation is successful. Now let's move to step number two. Here again, you just need to copy the code and paste it. Great. It has finished installing. Now let's move to step number three and clone the automatic repository. So again, just copy the code and paste it. In my case, it didn't work because I already have the stable diffusion installed on my computer, but for you, it should work. So to check that, we can go to find a window and on the upper panel, click on go, then choose home. And if the stable diffusion was installed on your computer, you will see a folder called Stable Diffusion. Let's click on it, then let's click on the models, and then let's choose Stable Diffusion. So this is the location where we will add our Stable Diffusion model. So for the model, you have different options here. First, you can go to the guide and download the version 1.5 model from this link. Just click on the link and scroll down a little bit you will see a download link here. Click save and as you can see, the file is being downloaded and it has extension CKPT and that's exactly what we need. Any stable diffusion model will have an extension of CKPT. You can also download other stable diffusion models. There are a lot of models available online. There are general models and there are specific models. The specific models were precisely fine-tuned for a specific case. For example, those models were trained on dog images or on a specific style of art. You can also create your own model so that you can generate consistent images of yourself or of your character or of a product. And I will show you how to do it in the next tutorial. Once you download the model, drag and drop the CKPT file into the location which I showed you before. After that, we have one last step to do. Go back to the terminal and run the following command. It will take around 10 to 20 minutes to run the model for the first time. Once the model is running, you will see a link like this. So copy the local host link and paste it in a new window. If everything is set up, you will see a window like this. Now we can put any prompt here. For example, let's put cat playing a piano and see what it's gonna generate. And we got this image. 
You can also tweak and try different settings. Let me know if you want a video explaining these different parameters. Now you can explore stable diffusion, try different prompts and models and create amazing art. So this is it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any errors running the code, please write it in the comments below. So as a community, we can answer and help each other. And stay tuned for my next tutorial. See you soon.